Okay, have I got to face the other way? Yeah. Are you oh, fuck, I can't do this again. They emailed me. They emailed you. How have they got your email? Turn around. Oh. Oh, oh my God. God. I can't believe I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Do you want to tell, okay. tell the listener what's going on that we've had? Okay. Um, it's a surprise guest. Yeah. A surprise guest. <laughs> So Joe sat right. Can you sit with your back? So at the end of my telly. Oh my god! How are you feeling? How are you I, feeling? Um, how am I feeling? I, I tell you what. I feel like all the stress has gone and now it's risen up again. But it's not quite as high for some reason. Well, it is. It's getting higher. I just don't like this turning round thing. I'm facing. Did you say I'm yeah, facing? I want you to. I want to see your back. I want to see your back. See your back. Okay, come on, right, they're here. Shit! Uh, oh, God. <laughs> uh, okay. Right. okay. Okay. This is nuts. Hold on. So stay facing this way. Yeah, stay facing that way. No, I don't like this on the table. Yeah, just stay facing that way. This is stupid. Stay facing that way. Oh, guest, can't see you, guest. Don't say anything, guest. <laughs> oh. oh no, I don't want to play anymore. Oh, let me turn around. Say something. Okay. What? Okay, what? Can I turn? <laughs> say this, tell me something. Okay. Can I turn? Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Oh, that hell. was exciting. Oh, hello, Kerry. Hello, oh, David. How are you? I'm all right. I fucked up this morning. I got the timings all wrong. Oh, that's all right. Don't How worry are about you? That. I'm all right. Look at you. We've never had a guest who's wandering around. Eh? Hey? Oh, well, yeah. I'm on the phone. I can move. Look, I could, I could go anywhere. Yeah. How are you, Kerry? You all right? <laughs> I'm all right. How are you, Joe? Well, I've just had my back to the camera for about 25 minutes. We, they, we had this idea. Oh, that's a bit too long, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's a way too long. Well, it's your fault, to be fair. It's my fault. I, um, I fucked up. I get timings wrong. Every time I agree to do a podcast, I balls it up. Every time. Yeah. I was quite, Don't worry. Well, what, Don't the, worry. Uh, uh, for, uh, two minutes to nine, we had the idea. You know the voice? Yeah, the David chip. texted me, it was meant to be like the voice. Yeah, was yeah. That, did it feel like the voice? Did it have no, that No, it was really stressful and horrible. Because, <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> because you just feel really vulnerable. Like, I, you don't yeah. know what... And David sort of kept... Built sort, it up too much, didn't he? Well, he made out like I didn't know you and stuff, so it was worse. Right, cause so be you like, had a lot of time to stress yeah, out. Yeah, because also... <laughs> too long. There's a really weird bit there, because I went... I didn't recognise you straight away. Yeah, what was it like when you saw... Well, because I didn't recognise... It takes a while, doesn't it? I didn't recognise <laughs> Kerry straight away, because she's on the phone, what? so I was like... Well, because you, uh, you. What do you were, mean you didn't recognise well, me straight away? Well, because you were leaning away. forward and you made your forehead in the camera. So, <laughs> and I was like, I have got a lot of forehead. <laughs> I oh. genuinely went, great. I don't know who they are. Fuck. Oh, did you? For a second, because I was like, Ke- Kerry just happened to have her head down like that. And I was oh, like, fuck. shit, this is a living nightmare. Oh, I don't know who it is. <laughs> and then you looked up and I went, Joe, it's this Gary! is not a living God. nightmare. This is a minor <laughs> podcasting sort of hiccup. I don't have a... L- I love it. That- oh, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Right, I've got to get... Hang on one second. I've got to go to the door. <laughs> yes. One sec. This is wonderful. Oh, it's okay. Do you ever actually speak to the people that ring on your door? <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? You can get out, it's okay. And shut up. I'm Just having push windows them away. delivered. I'm having windows delivered. I, wa- oh, I don't yeah. want to go into it, David. It's, but, it's, but also, it's... do you not talk to people that come to your door? You said nothing to them. He's gone. All right. He played, he played um, knock and run. He fucked off. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like this is the weird... I love the fact this is constantly moving. It's brilliant. It's re- we do a section, Kerry, called House Snoopers, where we get members of the public to ring in and we look around their house. This feels like House Snoopers. Oh, I, I, um, I, it was quite a liberating moment when I realised that Zoom didn't have to be wedded to one spot. You can put it on your phone and move around, get on with your life. Yeah. Well, I, I, I've yeah. got a little camera thing, so like that. Yeah, moves. there you go. 
I did feel sorry for you because I know you're a mum, Kerry. I thought I bet you're like, oh, for fuck's sake, look at this <laughs> stupid <laughs> fucking podcast. <Well. laughs> the thing is, I mean, I see so little of you both now that these little yeah. podcasts, so many like comedy friends, I only Just see them when I do a down. podcast. <laughs> I'm, I'm down. I sit down. I love the way them. she did it exactly at the point you said, just fucking sit down. And you, Luckily there was a chair there. <laughs> I'm sitting down now, I'm sitting down. I'm committing. Okay. Um, I don't see people now unless I do podcasts with them. Uh, oh, yeah, are you not like gigging? That. I am gigging a bit, I'm touring, so you don't sort of see other um, circuit. I saw a really um, funny bit of yours the other day about um, pasta shapes and you shout oh, to your yeah. kids saying you don't care what shape your chocolate is do you <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's really made a, me laugh it's a parenting uh, lifestyle video as opposed to comedy now <laughs> oh it's really funny <laughs> Kerry I've just suddenly remembered Joe oh. we did an episode one of our first ever episodes was getting you were on spoons with me when I got sacked <laughs> oh my god you were yeah, that was a very strange Oh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh this day. is great. It was a really weird day. And I remember years later we talked about it and I was really relieved to discover that you were relieved when it happened because you hated it. So so basically, you... Oh, well, Dave, Dave, can you tell Kerry what we did before? Right, Joe? yeah, that's what I was going to say. Basically, David... Was talking. <laughs> Look at you breathing, David. Oh, I feel really sick. Why is this yeah, well, it was time? a horrible. It was a horrible but, so, day. So David was telling me about basically the first, like, <laughs> what do you call it, the Midas month or something? David went through really early on. He just had this month where he got every everything he touched. He just sort of got. So it'd be like, yeah, I'm in a film. Yeah, I've got a new sketch show thing or whatever. Yeah, and uh, and then he was doing spoons with you and he just was like right i'm out of my depth and we were talking about how he uh, basically got fired we did a day and then got fired and uh and we were sort of laughing about it while i was and uh, <laughs> and uh, and then we realized that we i knew we knew the one of the producers and we got him on yeah. the show to talk about why who was that uh neil yeah. And um so I wanted to know how he was feeling when he sacked me and how bad he thought I what was. What did he say? What did he say? Oh, he, he was in hell. Didn't he- give a shit. No, he's in hell actually. He was he, he Oh, got- great. Oh, that's interesting. Great. <laughs> Kerry's angle. Was- yeah, didn't give a shit. Why well, would he? It's only I David. Just- <laughs> <laughs> I, well, no, not that. It's just that I'm very cynical about the culture of TV. Oh, Neil's lovely. Being... He's a really nice yeah, bloke. Yeah, oh, of course I, Neil's I thought, lovely. I but... thought, I'd be thought it's really interesting to see it from his side. And he was... Well, I'm glad I that he has... I it from Kerry's side. I no, I just what think... Else? I just assume all TV execs and producers are just cutthroat. They're just no, like, he, right... He had to have a couple on. of drinks before he phoned David. He was, like, like really upset that he... Good. I'm glad that he went through it. <laughs> I'm glad that nails. he was in a moral turmoil about that because it was really r- rubbish. Oh, was Kerry, he said I. <laughs> this, do the week. I feel awful. <laughs> do the week. He said I'd come into a scene <laughs> and do a line and look over at them and smile. No, wink. <laughs> wink. <laughs> he said you wink. <laughs> I mean, it's you're a comedy genius. We know that now. But yeah. you were ahead, very ahead of your time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all read between the lines. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think that the world was ready for you at that stage. Is that fair? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Because Spoon was a very, very, nas- uh, like, Let's look at Spoon. Let's unpack Oh, spoon. no, you were going to say naturalistic. Well, it, not so much naturalistic, oh, no. but it so was very... Like, what year David. was it? What year did we do Spoons? Like, oh. early noughties. Seventies. Yeah. Seventies. And it was very, like... <laughs> it had residue of the 90s. It was all about yeah. blokes being disappointed with women. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a lot of shitting. I remember there's loads of toys. There's loads of shit. Like, yeah, yeah. a lot of scatological humour. Yeah. And I yeah. remember saying to Neil and Pete... You know what? A lot of these sketches, you could flip the gender and make it so that the woman is a bit pissed off. Yeah, with I said all that as well. Yeah, Kerry. They and they listen. were like, "No, we just like <laughs> it like this. We like this slight tone of misogyny. We think it's hilarious." <laughs> <laughs> and all yeah. the women in it, me and Rosie and Liz and uh, Josie, were all a bit like, "That that's a it sticks a bit of bullshit." This kind of yeah. like, folks of this I way, Rosie women was in that it, way. wasn't she? Rosie, hey. Who? 
Rosie Cav, Rosie Cavalero. Oh, is she? Yeah. Oh, she's great. Yes. Right, so I'll listen. be honest with you, Kerry. Yeah, I genuinely. You were really. I've never done anything before. I don't think I've done anything before. Oh, I hadn't had done I? much, though. That was quite an early gig for me. Well, I remember you were the one that stuck out for me because you were so. I just thought, oh my God, she's a really funny, good actor. I was like, oh, oh right. fucked. No, I really did. <laughs> Looks like she needed to hear that, really that at the time. St- Why didn't you mention that at the time? There's, there, do you know what? There's one sketch we do involving a sofa, and the, I don't know what you would I can't remember what it was now, but I just thought, oh, I'd never think of that. Oh, honestly, I felt so uncomfortable that day. Oh, I, well, I remember years later when you told me that you were relieved that they l- let you go, and I was glad because, you know, they, those stories are horrible. I mean, they they, they happen, a, that's what I mean about being a cynic about telly. They happen a lot. Like when do people they? just. Do you reckon they happen? I have got a few store, a friend of mine, I won't go into the details of it because it's, you know, quite a high profile show. But anyway, he, he did it for like, he was, you know, the famous Apocalypse Now story. Who's the, the actor that had Martin Sheen's part and then he I got. Don't know. Oh, yeah. Harvey yeah. Keitel, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. Like, yeah. W- that is the ultimate fucking what, what actor's happened? nightmare what to happened? be on a shoot and be three weeks into filming and then politely or not. Well, like politely Back to the Future. Back it? to the Future. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they film- exactly. Yeah. They're like nightmare stories. And a friend of mine had exactly that. He was playing a lead and then they just sort of said, This isn't working. And <sighs> it's, oh. it's horrible. It's but horrible. What I feel like the thing we're missing here is asking the question Did the other performers think? Oh my God! Who is? I this didn't. Bloke? I didn't think that of you at all. Oh. <laughs> I didn't. She's a I super didn't act. think that at all. I, was, I, I thought we were all having a lovely day. Maybe I. Maybe I was just a bit overexcited. <laughs> oh my! God. I love the fact I, that I, I there was no point you, where I thought, "Oh, this guy's not, you know, cutting it." at all i just thought we were all rehearsing and bonding and dicking about with those things as well though like not not saying david wasn't but you i always think you're so wrapped up in what you're doing as well though aren't you you know what i mean like you think everyone else is sort of watching yeah but if someone's being a prat you know you do go you weren't being a prat okay (laughs) we did wink at the producers every time we did a scene which i think we should all (laughs) Say I think he said I kept doing sort of Rick Mail impressions. And I, just rem- I don't remember that. I don't remember <laughs> that. But sometimes it's like when you have like, God. when you think you've had a bad gig and then you you didn't. Yeah. Like you've had an all right gig, but you're like, okay. I died. And you're like, you didn't yeah. die. You just didn't, yeah. you know, it didn't, you didn't, didn't blow the roof off. <laughs> 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 <Okay. laughs> we got there again. We got there. But it all worked out, David, didn't it? So it's all yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. We've got to have our yeah. war stories, our actors' yeah. war this, stories. This spoons thing is. I love the fact it's popped up over like a twenty-one month podcast. It's like every <laughs> every few months, there's another little ah oh, spoons. We're talking about spoons. You need to get um. So you need to get like all the other spoons cast members on, don't you? Who what about Rob Rouse? Oh, Rob, Rob Rouse. Rouse. Oh, he, yeah. Get Rob on and get Kevin Bishop on. No, Kevin took my part. Oh, so Kevin replaced you. Yeah, Did he? I think right. so. Or Simon Farnaby, one of the two. Yeah. No, I yeah. think Simon was on board right early. I haven't seen right. Simon since we did Spoons. I mean, I've seen him on the telly box, yeah. but I haven't seen him in real yeah. life. Um, we did. Uh, we uh, last time I saw you, I can't remember because you, you, you're well, obviously we all did Afterlife, but your character sort of just wasn't with the gag, was it? No, I never saw. I only saw you it's, like briefly, didn't I? So yeah, I, I remember seeing you out. Oh, God, I remember outside um, in Soho, I think it was the last time I saw you, outside, uh, like, the read through for, like, the first series, I think. I think that was the last... Oh, wow, gosh, that's going back. I think that's the last time. Did you really not see anyone carry on that show? I, I thought I saw you, like, I thought we were, like, you know when we did the fairground day? Didn't I see you on that day when it was tipping it down with rain? And yeah, I'd, yeah, been yeah. In, oh. I'd been in and then you came in and we were sort of... Oh, yeah, ships. like, for about a minute or yeah. something, yeah. The rain was awful. I saw David because he was there. I remember seeing you on the fairground days. Yeah. I never felt like you were part of the show, Kerry. No, I was was dead. (laughs) That's what playing someone who's dead can do for a bonding experience. Yeah. Do you know Anna Crilly in a pilot once played someone in a coma? Oh, really? And her character stayed in a coma for, like, the whole 30 minutes thing, which I think is the weirdest... I think the idea is if it went from 
at further than a pilot should wake up at some point and they say so they need that they might her character might wake up but essentially well, she just oh that's the face isn't it that's the face. I, um, when ricky first said uh what he wanted to do with afterlife and did i want to play dead wife i i did sort of momentarily i just sort of thought he meant that like, like <laughs> who better I, to play her than but <laughs> i had i remember years ago playing um I have played a dead person before, but literally a corpse. So I kind of, oh. that's where I mentally went in my head. I just thought, right. he, like, like, play, like literally play dead. If you, if you, if you play the corpse, is that, is that being an extra? Is that being an extra? Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. I, I, when I first left college, I did like student films. I can't remember what film school it was. There's film school where they just let actors be, you know, bits and pieces. Because you, you're trying to build a show reel, aren't you? So you want little bits of footage. And I remember... Um, <laughs> did you put that in? <laughs> I don't think I did. No. I, 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 I remember it was really hard. It's really hard to be still. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy just lying still. Well, it's not the trickiest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you look at I... to turn your back to the camera for 30 minutes. And yeah, okay, can't... yeah, that's true. That is so, true. Um, you lie still for like a whole day's piece filming. Piece, of, piece of piss for me. Yeah. <laughs> Kerry, can I ask a little question? You're on tour now. How How much has Afterlife boosted your numbers oh definitely oh, yeah, both yeah. figures and cash oh that's really interesting really oh, def i definitely think after like I, I i'd be curious to do a little clipboard market research as they're leaving and go are you here because of afterlife yeah because of something but you always wonder don't you but i do think because it's been such a massive hit I definitely think it's made a difference to my sales yeah oh, and it's always interesting when you you do Something like acting, and then they go and see you stand up because you're nothing like, yeah, you know, you're quite angry but on stage because of Taskmaster and panel shows and things like as that, as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, after sorry, going back to Spoons, I remember, I remember, I don't know if I'd met you, but I'd seen Spoons, and then I saw you in Edinburgh, and uh, I couldn't get, I couldn't get my head around that. That was the lady from Spoons. <laughs> you joking. No, I tell you, because it was like, like I remember I saw you. Did you do? You did a double act with um, was it David? Yeah, my mate David. Yeah, and I just remember thinking she's in Spoons. Who? Who did you do a double act with? I did um, uh, an old mate of mine, David Pusey. We went to college together, and we did. Uh, he helped me co-write like loads of bits and pieces early on, and we did a sketch show mm. up right. in the air called Godliman and Lane. Oh, I remember, oh, right. I like, she's been, on, yeah. she's been in spoons. We've been thinking about a long time, haven't we? Yeah, <laughs> she's still the, doing the police. The police oh, private detective, which to yeah, Pearl. yeah, she, yeah, we, that's about to come out actually. There's one of those. Right, I've got to talk to you about this. What? Well, sorry, what are we so talking what's... about? Sorry, I miss you. You cut out a bit this when I program on Acorn TV called Whitstable Pearl, and I play Pearl, who is a private detective, sort of. And in a bobble hat being quite nosy down on the Kent coast. Oh. Have you seen it, David? Yeah. Have you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate. Well, I was watching it going, because I watch it for the acting side. Because oh. I'm going, there's Kerry, what's she doing? <laughs> like, all, like, yeah, like, it's exactly how you want someone to watch you. <laughs> How's she doing that? You're on a boat. And I think there was a corpse in the sea. <laughs> That's right. But this is this is a show. This is your head. You're at the front of the show. No, this is your. No, but how one. how nervous were you? I know I keep going on about nerves, <laughs> but how nervous were you walking onto that show? I was just over the moon, excited to be there. I wasn't nervous. I was just happy. <laughs> Did you audition for it? We shot that. In the first or second lockdown, it was like right in the middle of that 2020 pandemic -y time. I was just happy to be working. But how did you, did, did you audition for it? No. Okay. So I didn't audition for something this year and I just, well, that gave me more nerves because I thought they were going to see what I did on set and go, <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? I blame Spoons. This is all going yeah. back to Spoons, doesn't it? It, yeah, does, it does. It does, genuinely. Yeah. Oh, God. See what um, I mean? These stories just, they can change lives. Yeah, but I think I, you need it. I need it. No, if I was so doing... would you say, let's, um, like, right, let's therapy you. So would you say that experience 
made you more kind of inclined to make your own work and do your own character work. And, yeah. Yeah. So you're now like mentally, you're like, well, I make my own work. I don't audition for other people's no, work. Because I feel like people will be laughing at me and want to sack me. Bloody yeah. hell. <laughs> I love that you've come on. We've done Bloody 300 hell. episodes and David just opens up to you like that. <laughs> well, we go a long way back. And I was yeah. at that very seminal moment wow. when he had a breakup on spoons. What else can we find? So out? I was watching you on, on um, Whistful Pearl. Yeah. I'm over the moon that you watched that. Thinking, how like, how do you know what to do? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, the I words are given to her and the actions. Yeah, I know, but you've still Is got... It, to... Honestly, listen, mate. Are you just bringing people... yourself to the part and that's... Uh, well, do you... How sincere do you want this conversation about the craft of acting to be? Are Very. we going to have a proper conversation? Yeah, yeah we've well, got a proper audience here, Kerry. Don't worry about look, that. Look, it's boring. But actors talking about the process of acting is boring, isn't it? It's boring. No, not for me. Yeah, but so we're thinking of the it. audience. I went me to and drama Kerry. school and spent three years unpicking all that Did stuff. Did you go to like, drama school? I was a camel for a whole term. <laughs> <laughs> What's drama school Show like? Off. Do you come out of it, guys? I loved it. I was a camel for a whole oh, term. Oh, you see that as a positive? <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> But Kerry, you're not answering that when you're given when you're given that script. Right, number one, I'll be going. Where's the joke? But then I go, okay, there are no jokes. So how how am I supposed to look at the sea? How do I walk along the boat? How do you You just play each moment as if it was real? (laughs) (laughs) Ah, Thank you. I'm on a boat. There's a corpse. What would I yeah, do? Yeah, but you're witch to be pearl. Who's witch to pearl? pearl. <laughs> I, I don't think you gave Whistful pearl any thought. No, I did. I gave not. <laughs> don't make her lose the fucking job. <laughs> yeah, don't sabotage my <laughs> Bring everyone else down because you got sacked from spoons. <laughs> Payback time. I'm going to get Kerry fired. Did you have any moment on set where you were going, oh, shit, I don't know what to do here, and oh, God. No. Fuck but me. I, I, have, I have had that on other sets, though. I don't have it on that one. Oh. I've had it, yeah, I've had it on other jobs. That that job is lovely, and I feel like I'm in my comfort zone. Oh, that must oh, be Maybe nice. that's why I got the job. you got another series coming. Say that again. you got another series coming. I don't know. There's season two's coming out in November, and then if that goes well, oh, then they might. Would it be nice if this was one of those jobs where you go, it's like an 11 year job? You're like, yeah. Oh. I mean, I'd be to the moon if that just was an annual number for me. Because I, oh. when I did, I was about this with David. When I, when I did him and her, it's like the first job I yeah. did. Oh, uh, I did that. Do you remember? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You, you were horrible in it, weren't you? You was horrible. Yeah. You were great. You were in really it, Harry. good. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and you came back to Derek going, fucking hell, you've really got to learn your lines, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking hell, you yeah, did. It was a bit looser on Derek, wasn't Oh, it? my God. Yeah, yeah no, the, him and her was re- That was the first. Anyway, I uh, I remember because I was really skinned. It was like, all I've got to do is get to June and I've got I've got work. And then yeah, when yeah. that ended, I was like, oh, God. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Oh, no, there's no June. There's no June. How long's the shoot for Whitstable Pearl? Three months, 12-week shoot, yeah. And Where it's is it? Long- I am in a lot of it. Well, season one, we shot it pretty much all in Whitstable, in lockdown. Oh, and love Whitstable. Uh, Whitstable's lovely. And then season two, we it's all over Kent, actually. It's oh. sort of they dot all over the place. Kent. It's a really nice Oh. Joe's from Kent, so he's up for this. Yeah. Oh, where are you from, Joe? A place called Kemsing, which is, is sort of the London side oh, of Kent. I went on my PGL to Kemsing Moat. Did you? Yeah. What's a PGL? Uh, what's it stand for? It's when kids like do ab sailing and canoeing. Oh, and okay, that. cool, yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, when I was about 11, I went there. So it's the other side of Kent. Like, I, I love all down by the coast and everything down there. And oh, it's gorgeous. And all down there. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Do you stay I like down? I Peel and Broadstairs and all that. You can't you nice... don't come back to London in the evening? Uh, yeah, no, I do. Because, you? you know, family and that. But wow, the first every night. One, 
Uh, no, not every night. No, I was say, but yeah. I, like weekends. Yeah, yeah, uh, weekends. It, yeah. it really varies because sometimes, like, if we were in Seven Oaks, I'd come home. Yeah. But if we were like in Margate, then I'd stay down. So it was it was all over the place. It was sort oh of my quite. God. Small. I love the yeah. I love the idea of having a job in a really nice James place. James always got his eye on the per, the per DMs. Is it per DMs? Oh no, per DMs. Oh, per, yeah. oh. per DMs. Best bit of the if job. It goes again, oh, if it goes again, you it'd be brilliant if you could be in it. Oh be please, I could stab my mum's. Oh, oh that would be good. Oh, Saving the old per yeah, diems. But David, don't wink at the camera at yeah. the end of a line. Just don't <laughs> piss off the producers early doors. <laughs> oh, flipping now. So you're um, touring, Kerry. I'm touring now, yeah, but that ends really soon. And then, How's it been? Because you and I were talking about how when you go off to tour you start crying. I have had a few t- <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there are a lot of ups and downs, aren't there? I, yeah. I... I've mostly enjoyed it. I think I can feel that I'm coming to the end. How many have done? Well, I wrote this show before COVID, so I we'd done about three gigs, and everything shut down. Oh, and I it went back in. You know, it, it, it was such a funny old time, wasn't it? And then it, when it went back in, I did a block. Then I had a break. Then I did another block. So it's been sort of broken up over the last two odd years. What sort of venues right. you did? Uh, art centres, little theatres. I did the Birmingham Old Rep. Last week, uh, oh, how what many? Mean, oh, right. how, yes, have a look at that. That's <laughs> three or four hundred seaters. There's sort of three, three-ish hundred seaters, three, four hundred seaters. What are you doing in London? What's the one you're doing in London? I, I did it already. It's gone. Bloomsbury. Oh, oh I love Bloomsbury. <laughs> yeah, really nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it was actually. It was What's lovely. it called? Oh, <laughs> the old rep. Thi- oh, that does look nice. Yeah. It's have you really nailed lovely. it? Has every evening gone well? Uh, there was. Mm, yeah, mostly. They have gone quite well, mostly. Sometimes you have a sort of... Sometimes, like, I always think Birmingham, because I, I did Birmingham on the last block and then I went back, so I did the Glees and then I went back. But they're always really up for it. I always find Birmingham to be... Really? A, yeah. Like, they're really on for it, aren't they? It's a great yeah. city to do comedy in. Really? I did the Glee. I did the back room of the Glee, but that was really lovely. Yeah, yeah. really lovely. Yeah. The Birmingham Glee Club is the best one of the Glees, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's really yeah. lovely, yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Cardiff used I, to be I, nice and then went a bit shit. I haven't been to Cardiff for ages. Nottingham, I did Nottingham on the tour as well. That was nice. Do you have a support? <laughs> yeah, Jake Lambert, who's wonderful. Oh, he's lovely. I love oh, he's Jake. Amazing. He's really good, isn't he? Yeah, he's really yeah. good. And yeah. he's been on this tour with me and my last tour, actually. So, Jake, I've been with Jake a long time. He's, he's a yeah, funny he's boy. Great. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He's great. Oh. So what are you doing now, Kerry? Uh, what, now, literally, or what? Do you know what? I would like to know what you do. What, on my days when I'm day not working? What's happening today? Yeah. Talk us through today. Well, today, do you know what? I've got a day off. I got. I have got a day off today. I was working yesterday. I was, pod, I was narrating, doing a podcast narration thing. And then I did a charity gig last night at the store. So I saw Susie Ruffle. She was hosting a charity gig, which was really great. And then I've got. Uh, I'm going to the theatre tonight to see Totoro. Oh, no, we don't. This is where, what, where Studio at? Ghibli. The Studio Ghibli. They've made the RSC are doing a musical. Oh wow, that'll be amazing. I know. I'm really excited. <laughs> so oh. I'm, going, I'm going to see that tonight with the family. Oh. And uh, this week's quite a quiet week actually. And I've got a tour show on Friday. I'm up in Warrington Friday night. Are you, are you doing the? Um, sorry, Joe. Have you got to go soon? Uh, no, it's Kerry. I'm going to be late because it's Kerry. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Chatter Biscuits and Chatter Biscuits with nuts, uh, etc. If you're enjoying this podcast, you need to get on our Patreon. You will get early access to ad free episodes. There'll be videos and behind the scenes sneaky pics. It's basically a place where we all hang out together. And also, you'll be given instant access to our Discord community. Which is a friendly place where yeah. chatter biscuits share stuff yeah. and talk to one another. It's like a nice Twitter, basically. Uh, so just go to patreon.com forward slash chatterbix. Also, Patreon is also an app you can download onto your phone. Fool for the price of a coffee. Once a month, you pay a few qu- quid, quid, and you become a VIP chatter biscuit. Yeah. That's what you'd like. Sign up at patreon.com forward slash chatterbix. The link is in the description of this episode. There, done. Yeah. Do you know what? There's over a thousand. We've got over a thousand, a thousand patrons at the moment.
Patreon Give it to me Patreon I need it girl Patreon Give it to me Patreon I need it girl Are you doing the are you doing the clubs as well, Kerry? Not so much, no, not loads. But I tell you what, I've kind of realised that now I'm coming to the end of this tour. I mean, you've all been there. You, I've got to write new jokes, so I am going to have to just go back to the clubs. It's very there's a cycle, isn't there, with stand up, and you go like round and round, and then you kind of start back at the bottom. It's quite how, you know it's how do you, how do you write? How would you go about? with new stuff then so you've just I've, killed all well the... i have a breakdown i have a lot of like upset and a lot of like stress and then i sort of uh pull it all together into one document and try and put in new material nights and just sort of plow through it do you absolutely get rid of all the old stuff or do you no I, they're old i do not dump completely I was doing a corporate gig the other night that wasn't easy. I was doing construction awards, which was loads of builders. Sounds easy. I went into the cannon of old shit. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really? How many people? <laughs> How big was that that night? It was about 700 people. Fuck, mostly fuck, fuck <laughs> off, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Can't Honestly. do corporates. I never done them. Can't do. Them. They're, they're um, they are tricky. But yeah. I did. I remember it like. Because um, I'm f- obviously friends with Zoe Lyons, and I just I've crossed paths with her. Yeah, she does. Look- yeah, and it's so funny though because, like, I've I've called her at some prime moments where she's just like done a corporate. Yeah. That's been like horrendous, and yeah. I don't find anything as funny as her after a corporate <laughs> that's gone badly. She's comedians so- just she- love talking to other comedians about shit gigs. But corporates are a different level of shit, though, aren't they? Yeah. They're, they're, yeah. But they're it, like, tell me all about yeah, it. Yeah, that, that's, what, that's what I do with Zoe. I go, no, 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 don't tell me. Look, tell me what you felt when you walked in, what the yeah. venue, how many, yeah. how disinterested were you, what, <laughs> when did you know it was going to be shit? And she's... When you do, like, the corporate, Kerry... <laughs> yeah. Are you running the whole night, or are you just on for 20 minutes? Uh, well, if you're lucky, it's... 10 to 12 minutes or possibly 11 minutes and a half. It's a piss, <laughs> a piss, isn't it? It's really quick. So you do a short set, which... And then you um, host. And then you host. Oh, then this, you host that's the bit. The bit and I... then you're, and you're on script. So my feeling is, I think the client's always a bit like, you know, feel free to banter. Give Tony <laughs> a bit of a ribbon. And you're like, I will not be talking to Tony. <laughs> but but the, the hosting be... thing just sounds horrendous. So you go. No, the hosting bit, actually, I don't mind because you're on script, you're on an auto cue, and then you're just giving out awards. How long does that go on for, though? Sometimes it can be long. Like if there's 20, 30 awards, that can be over and, an hour. And, and you literally just going, and the winner is kind of thing. No, you're oh. going, right. The next nomination is the. Uh, I did the Pitch Roof Awards for a couple of years. <laughs> so that was... No, that most, is a joke, right? That's a joke. That was the most niche award. I'm doing the, the parking dr- awards. Oh, you're doing I'm the doing what? Par- parking. Parking? Who parks yeah. the best? What do you mean? It's not the parkers, it's the parking facilities. Fuck it's me. a whole world out there, guys. And there's a whole world... Didn't um, Ian Cognito used to have a lovely joke about... Um, sausages winning awards but he'd never won any awards <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking at pitch roofs and wondering how that can have an award yeah there's loads of pitch roofs and it was like no flat roofs welcome here thank you it's pitch roofs only do you write a little bit like that not really no i mean i occasionally sort of go look i don't know why i've been booked because i don't know anything about pitch roofs anyway pasta yeah. shakes, sean, let's crack on <laughs> sean Locke told me that he loved doing corporates because he'd write a 10 minute it make Who? him sean Locke said that he loves doing corporates because he'd write 10 minutes oh. specifically about a subject 
He's Some people like, do do that. Zoe, yeah. I think Zoe's a bit more inclined to do that. I go more down the road of, look, what do we have in common rather than what makes us different? So I'm That's like, nice. look, if all that to put shoes on, <laughs> let's nice. talk about shoes. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't, I can't, do I can't write a bespoke set like every week about parking and pitch roofs and pipes. Can you not? And AGMs. Can you? Well, that's not. I, that, that's not the Kerry I know. I might. Like, there's, always, like, there's always a lot of acronyms. So if you, uh, if you write me a joke about acronyms, and then I've got a joke. There's always so many acronyms in the corporate world. But, but um, oh, someone, someone oh told God, me. Yes. Someone told me. I shouldn't. I'll say the name. No, should I say the name? No, there's nothing given up. Um, Miles Jupp told me he just pays James Kettle like. Oh yeah, James writes and, a lot. And with just him, he? he just literally. I love Miles. He just basically wrote, and he just turned like. Kettle just hands him like yeah. some jokes and he'll just do yeah. them. But they've worked lovely? together as yeah. a sort of partnership for years. For years. But yeah. isn't that lovely? Like just, yeah. you just go, yeah. someone's that's just. That's like, um, that's the same as Elton John and that bloke who writes oh, the lyrics. Bernie, yeah. Uh, Bernie. Bernie, Bernie, Tor- Bernie, Bernie, Bernie Torpin. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie Eccles. That's, that's a perfect yeah, Bernie union, Eccleston. isn't it? It's like you do the music, I'll do the words. Oh, fuck. I think that. I'd I, love that. I, I would. I would love to have someone just to write me jokes. And oh, I know. I'll write them. I'll write them and, write and, them and you do them. I want to be the one writing them. I think that's oh, well, the best. Will you write? Oh, I want to be the one performing them. Oh, so. I'll write them and you do them and then we'll yeah. split it. Yes. Do you know, I'll be I'm not even joking. Be Bernie. I'll be Bernie. I'll be Bernie. I'll be John. I'll get the. I'll get oh. the cape on. Oh, I genuinely love that. I go there. Yeah, that's a great job. Yeah, because then you can see it fly, and you haven't got and to go I don't leave the pressure. house. I just fucking add it go. Oh, I wouldn't no, even I ask like you how it went. Round. I'm oh. like, if a joke doesn't work, I'm like, well, I didn't write it. It's oh, I'll d- just do another one. Oh, that's perfect because I just think oh, I don't have to face the embarrassment. I quite, do you know what's happening now as I get older? I quite enjoy the embarrassment. I'm getting into it. I, that's well, that's a weird awkwardness. Thing. Well, it's just like that awkwardness isn't that bad. I used to sort of think it was the worst feeling, and now I'm like, oh, it's quite an interesting feeling. I'm quite, I'm open to it. God, I'm going the other way. Really? Yeah. I was, I was laying in bed last night thinking about going, what's it like to go on stage facing the audience again? Oh, my God. So are you gig- at, where are you at with stand-up at the moment? Are you gigging now? I haven't done it for three years. Because you've been making your film and just doing other projects. Yeah. Yeah, and now the further I get away from it, I'm like, I can't. The, the idea of walking up and looking at everyone and, oh, my God. Also, you've moved quite Scary. far away now, haven't you? So coming Yeah, up to exactly. Gigs, that makes it hard. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, it's, I live in London, so popping out to do a gig isn't like that big a deal. Yeah. Back by so, half night. We, I've got, we've down here, we've got Tom Parry, Spencer Jones, Will Adamsdale. Mike Wozniak and me. That's not a bad night, is That's it? a circuit. You can That's put a, a circuit night together. Night. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lovely yeah. night. It's a lovely night. It's not Where bad are you now, yet. Devon? Yeah. Gosh, that's really far. Oh, you know, yeah, you know this area, don't you? Uh, vaguely. I know Lee and Greta, so, uh, yeah. but I haven't seen them for ages. I'm going to come down and visit you all. Well, you keep saying that. <laughs> I know, I do. But then there was a pandemic and but it all went up. It. I'm going to come down. Well, come down then. I'm going to. How are the kids as well? Are they enjoying the countryside? Yeah, loving it. Yeah, really. I bet it's idyllic, isn't it? I bet it's an absolute. Yeah, but you're not interested, are you? (laughs) I am. I am. I I always threaten to leave London and then I just bottle it. What about Brighton? You've got family in Brighton, haven't you? I've got a lot of friends and family down in Brighton. I think if I was to leave London, it would be Brighton because that's. I walk nice. down. I walk down the one you told me your family on, and every time I think of you, I go and I try and work out which house it might be that you have family. Can I? If you bleep I it out, my, well, you couldn't I'll stop that now because my mum sold that flat years ago. Oh, for fuck's sake! I've been doing it. <laughs> I'll bleep it out. They go. I wonder which one carries. It mom. was a lovely flat, that. But my mum had to sell it. It's a great but, road. Um, that it's one of my favourite. Yeah, roads. but I've still got mates down there. I've got mates in Patcham and friends in Hurstpier Point, and it's lovely. It's lovely, it's lovely down there. Yeah, I do love it down there. Yeah. Jen loves it, doesn't she? Jen Brister. Yeah, and Susie's down here now. Yeah, I, well, Susie she was Ruffle. saying last night she's found a place now. Yeah, there, she yeah. she uh, she was buying off Petra's my my other half's friend. And it all yeah. fell through. Oh. Yeah, a bit of a nightmare. But she's, um, yeah, she's she's here now. But she's, but she's. 
can't believe we're telling everyone where everyone lives. But um, no, no, we, we you'll have to cut some of this out. Yeah, but she, uh, will I? but she's um, essentially <laughs> back. Yeah, uh, she's here now, basically. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's well, good. I think one day I'll get down there. Right? Can you? I, I don't. Want I to love talking, this. Bit. I've just got a, these blokes. These You're having a piss. <laughs> We're not going to kiss. We're not going to kiss. <laughs> oh, look, it doesn't matter. They've gone away. Um, Second time this morning you've opened the door for no reason. This, this is a... Well, I'm having Windows <laughs> deliver, Joe. I can we? Like, I'm 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 much more. I really like it when you're moving about. I know David likes you sat. I I. Does it make no, you I like you moving it? about? Well, you shouted sit down at Kerry about. Watching me on a boat. Now no, it's only part of being playful. It's just a little thing we got going on. It's just playful. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on next to you? You're going to make another film. Really? Oh. Oh. No, we've got. We've been. Yeah. I just can't be asked, Kerry. But what? yeah, we've got. Because yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fucking work. No, but it's art. You, but you're. It's artistic. It's total. Like you're an auteur. You're an auteur now. Yeah. <laughs> I. I need a. I need a. Break, you're not like an acting whore that just goes around taking the money and corporate. You know, doing. Yeah, but only because I've lost. Oh, it's only because of fear. If I didn't have the fear, I'd be doing any fucking job. <laughs> 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 I really would. I really would. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, Come that's, on. it's you the can, same with, what? You can gig and you can act in other projects, you can do what you like. You just got to get over that fear thing. <laughs> You're such a brilliant actor and comedian, You're, you just got to oh, do what you want to do. I'm definitely putting, putting that on. Every bit of, every compliment I get on this podcast, I put on a loop for the drum beat. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a brilliant actor and comedian. You you just got to do what you want to do. Oh, yeah. You're such a brilliant actor and comedian. You you just got to do what you want to do. Talking, yo. You're such a brilliant actor and comedian. You you just got to do what you want to do. Oh, yeah. Do you know, we've got, there might be stuff coming up and I'm like, how do I get out of it? It's oh, terrible. Oh, David, come on. But also, I don't want to leave the boys. I oh. really feel that. But they you won't know. one day they'll grow up and leave you and then what will you have? Yeah, they will, won't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I won't I have suppose they are quite little. How old how old are they now? Seven and five. Oh yeah, they're still fairly little. But what I'm finding, because you you and I have talked about parenting quite a lot. You've been very supportive because you've got an older one, haven't you? So Yeah. Um I am nine of fifteen and twelve now, and Ooh. I can sort of they're very Oh, right, this time I'm going to open the door. Don't say anything, oh, though. Please. Don't say anything, though. Just open it please. and don't say anything. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Did you shut it? I'm just on the middle of it. Oh. Okay, so we're about to finish. Just let you know. Okay. Right, you'll have to cut this bit out. Say okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, Why would we cut that out, yeah. Why would we cut that out? It's really boring. Yeah. Just basically, we've got to look at your ear for a minute when you went, okay, yeah, no, okay, okay, cheers. You could make a film about that. That was a good yeah. film about that. Yeah. No, parenting. What I'm you couldn't. Thinking, you can. <laughs> no, you're completely you, wrong. You can tell now, now they're into that sort of teeny times, yeah. that there is a life whereupon they will just, not, they'll be, they won't need you. And they get... I get panicky and think, oh, I, I better have some ideas about what I'm going to do. But that's that's the that's the trick they're playing, Kerry, because they do need you. No, they do ever. need you more emotionally and financially. Yeah. But in terms of your time, like when they're little, you know, you always have to be around. But as they get older, you're a bit like, they don't need me. I'll plan a, like, a weekend around them and they'll just knob off. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a technical term? Yeah. <laughs> You'll be like, oh, I can't do anything Saturday because I've got the kids or I'm with the kids or I'm, you know, the kids are here. And then they're like, oh, we're going out. Are they embarrassed of you, genuinely? I don't know. I think they have moments of it. I think they do have moments of it. I think my son less so. Frank's less bothered, but I think Elsie gets quite embarrassed. Yeah. She's a 15-year-old girl, so, you know, she's embarrassed by a lot of things. Yeah. Well, with mine, he came back to me when he was 19, 20. Yeah. And now you're close, aren't you? Oh, now he's like, send me songs, Dad. Send me this. What do you think of this? For five years, it's like, I can't give a fuck what you think, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
But I remember you telling me about the team stuff and you being very um, supportive and saying, don't worry, you know, stick it out. It can be tough. Yeah, just got to cling on. Cling on, just cling on. And Are they fine with you being on TV and, like, doing tours? And Are they all right with that? Yeah, I think they're just used to it. Like, it's all they've ever known. Yeah. Always been yeah. on from when they were little, so they don't know another sort of... Version, yeah, true. You know. What do their friends yeah. think? Uh, I think their friends are excited by it. I think sometimes... I, I, the only thing I ever worry about is that they'd get teased for it, that they'd get, like, any shit Yeah. For it. But yeah. I don't know. They've never told me if that's happened. Mm. I think mostly it's, it's, it's exciting. It's like, oh, yeah. your mum's on Netflix. It's not that hard to tease about what you do, is it, really? Oh, my God. Teenagers will tease you about oh, yeah. whether they can see a bra strap or whether your knees face the right yeah. way. Your elbow. <laughs> your, <laughs> knee, <laughs> your knees <laughs> face the right way. I get that. <laughs> if your knees are on the back of your oh, legs, oh, take the God. piss. Sophie <laughs> Flim Flam's knees wonky. And that, oh, that's Sophie's life fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got rid of all my combo videos from YouTube because my boy. I just deleted them all. I loved combo. I told you once years ago. Combo really reminded me of my uncle. I feel like oh. combo was like a family member. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, my combo, boy, as you imagine, my boy hated it, so really? just got rid of it all. But because of the sexy sleaze vibes. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. I can't imagine my dad going online playing <laughs> this character. Just can you? Can you imagine your dad? Joe? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you can. Yeah, yeah. It'd be, it'd be <laughs> fucking brilliant at it. But you can't win as a parent. You'd be like, whatever you do, if your dad's like, I don't know, yeah. a bricklayer, it's like, oh, dad, you and bricks. Yeah, but you've got a better chance <laughs> yeah, of winning if you don't. Yeah, yeah I think it's slightly more <laughs> vanilla. Being a brick, right? <laughs> oh, Dad, bricks again. Dad, you and your Stop fucking Stop banging brick. on about fucking bricks. <laughs> Do bricklayers bang yes. on about bricks? I don't know. <laughs> I, did, um, I did the Brick Awards a couple of years fucking ago. Fucking course you did. Course you did. Yeah, yeah. I love bricks. Lazy weekday morning. Giving it up for you. Lazy weekday morning. Giving it up for you. One, sorry, I'll go back to the corporate bit. Why does one get chosen to do corporate? How do you get... That's a really good question. I'm always really curious about... I always say, who did you have last year? Oh, do you? And, uh, and how were they yeah, good, I always, basically? No, yeah, I always want to know. Usually the answer is Mark Watson. <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> or how? Yeah, I always go, who did you have last year? Oh, we had Mark Watson or how. Or yeah. how kind of. <laughs> Or um, Joe Colfer, right. I often say Joe. Who's yeah, the one you so don't want to hear? Is there one? Is it? Would you? Is there sort of like if they said something like I don't know, Matt? I don't know, like someone like Kevin Bishop. Uh, yeah. Kevin. Oh, what Bridges. Who I mean, I'm not break. Kevin yeah. Bridges. Or uh, yeah, you don't want to feel like a step down. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Kerry, 
what, just, yeah exactly what what is your calendar like for the next few months being a oh, do you get quite, nervous actually, are you all right november that? no i'm all right now i kind of feel kind of i think maybe since the pandemic uh i don't freak out as much i kind of i don't want to be crazy busy i used to want to be crazy busy but now i don't want crazy busy i, I want to be just right is, it, is the dream is the dream like say what are we now we're october november is if if you went oh, i've got a massive job in january so you could go the rest of the year take it easy because that is the dream isn't it knowing something's coming up exactly but then you go you can just i'll re- do fuck all till then basically yeah i mean I, I think i like the idea of doing nothing and then you get jumpy don't you and i go and do a gig or do you know something i end up doing something but um that's the lovely thing about stand up is that you're kind of free to just go and do it. Is the door? Do is it I mean? the door again? Is it the door again? I'm having windows. <laughs> okay. 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 So just one thing. Yes. You can open door, Kevin. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I won't go out there. Yeah. This is good. <laughs> Okay. Yep. All right. The door there, yeah? Yes, you could. That'd be yeah, brilliant. Yeah, you so Can you let me know about the fitter? Yeah, I will. Okay. 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 Thanks so much. See you. That's how Kerry deals with <laughs> tradesmen. Every time I do a podcast, uh, I had a full blown row with Elsie on um, Rob Beckett Did and you? Josh Widdicombe's parenting podcast. <laughs> Yeah, and I, it didn't occur to me to ask them to cut it out. And they <laughs> Is said, this she's genuine? <laughs> oh, I've got to have a listen yeah, to that. I had a row with Elsie. They gave me loads of shit, and I was like, we just ended up bickering, and they were just giggling. I in imagine the you're quite chilled in an argument with it. your teenage daughter. No, I, I can imagine being told it. off by you. Actually, I'd, I'd reckon I'd fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I think. I think, I think with me and high emotions, is it's quick. Yeah. It's quite intense, yeah. but it's over quickly. I, I think. I feel like you're one of those people that I'd be disappointed that I'd upset you. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh. You go, oh, no, I want uh, Kerry to think yeah. that. Annie. Oh, what a lovely moment. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, delete that. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving all the window <laughs> shit, but to cut yeah, that anything, up, anything with real yeah. emotion out. <laughs> what about you, Joe? Are you busy at the moment? Um, I'm doing stand up again. <gasps> Are you? Yeah. You go on tour? Well, potentially, if I can muster the. Um, God, it's hard though, isn't it? Getting the material. Where are you gigging then? Clubs? Where am I kicking? Like, well, I don't know if it's right, but I just spend ages writing stuff and then i'll do it and if it works i just park it and write some more so i'm not gigging loads i'm writing loads yeah then is it, then if it works i just bank it and write something else and do that and then just collecting stuff so that's what i'm doing at the moment but i don't do that should i be going out every night because i don't do that I, I just get it if it works a couple I of mean, times i just bank it some people just have different systems don't they like i don't trust mine little... though yeah, but you've done it, and it works. What if you Fine. Book a few yeah. working progress shows with well, that's, like. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to just do an hour in the next few weeks or something. Oh, that's and then, it. Um, You're doing stand up. I love your stand up. Oh, thank you. Well, you don't you haven't heard this stuff yet. I. <laughs> It's, um, I know that feeling of like, I tried to write some new stuff recently and I, I, I spent a few hours sort of putting it all on a lovely document and a picked a font. Because <laughs> yeah. sort of you're still, that means you're still working, doesn't uh, it? Yeah, you're exactly. working. And I put it all on a file and I haven't looked at it since. And, that was <laughs> <laughs> and now I've got to do the really hard bit, which is try it on stage. But, it, but also the trouble is, once you've got it working, I don't really know what to do then because I'm like, well, it works well, then now. You've just got to book the gig and get out there. I no, but it's sort of boring once you've got it working, isn't it? Yeah, I know, but you could work it up and like it, there'll be other little bits in it, won't there? There'll yeah. Be but there is a point it's where boring, it's done. You never know if it's going to work. The next night you do it. It's always... Yeah. There is a point where it should work. My pitch roof stuff always lands, I find. The what? Your My... pitch roof stuff. Bloody <laughs> well, it's, it's, you've been doing it years. <laughs> in any <laughs> room... <laughs> It, with any demographic, I could do it at an art centre. I could it, do it. At it is. Centre. It is weird watching you do it at the comedy store. <laughs> Fifteen minutes on pitch rooms. 
Because it never goes well. It never goes well. It's got an arty vibe. (laughs) That's what you could always say. You could say it's either trad, stand up, or it's performance art. Kerry, this is a question I'm asking. Obviously, you you started in the clubs, you've done your first tour, now your audiences are getting. What's it like walking out on stage? You've got three, four hundred people. They've come to see you, Kerry. Come on. Come on. Uh, It's very. It's lovely. It's really nice. It's really yeah. nice. It's like sort of mates, like you're performing like, to what's mates. What was your first tour? Were you playing to sort of 50 to 100 people? Yeah, it was smaller. I remember when that was, because it was when we were yeah. filming Derek. And I remember being really nervous because it was my first tour. And I just thought, I don't know who's yeah. going to come. I don't know if anyone's come. And yeah, and you're, yeah, you sort of 50, 60 people. But that 50, 60 of people have come to see you. So it's just. But so my, 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 my brain goes. My brain goes Immediately, I was thinking then when David asked you that, my brain is going, but there's a massive chance I'm going to let them down. Like, they go, <laughs> oh, I was excited and now this is... Let them down. You but that's where my brain goes immediately. Why, I go, where does that oh, come from, is... Joe? Sweetheart. <laughs> I, I'll answer if Kerry asks me. <laughs> where does it come from, Joe? Well, Where's Kerry. That... Well, I don't know. Well, maybe you should start I don't know. asking. <laughs> Well, pick at me until we, I have we a breakdown. Know where it's come from. <laughs> it's from the spoons. It's from the spoons times. Have you got a spoon story, Joe? Uh, no, of course, <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, I don't. Yeah, I've got hundreds of it. It's like a school yeah. play, yeah. carry. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but I assume uh, my my thing is it's gonna everything's gonna be a letdown. I assume. That's my that default. Would be exhausting. Is it? No, it's fine. <laughs> Imagine if you didn't have that. You'd just be touring, oh, doing ever so well. It's going to be a letdown. <laughs> I, honestly, I've just thought about it because I, I did a why gig. Why not go and see someone about uh, the that? other night? <laughs> Genuinely, why not go what, and on see the po- on the pod? Um, <laughs> go and see someone. Get that sorted. Get that ironed out. Or just live with it. Why? You don't want to live with that. Sort it out. <laughs> yeah, I do maybe sort it out before you start this tour. Otherwise, just in case you do let them down. In case you let them down. Or I feel that's normal to think like that. Down. No, it's not. Come on. You live in Brighton. There's loads of therapists. That's really got him thinking. Go on, Joe. Well, that- <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this to go. This pod to go. Listen, I will support, like, if you feel wobbly on your tour, just call me and I will okay. be for... Okay, your, but the, after uh, a few weeks, you will stop picking up. Oh, God, he'll go and see <laughs> someone and walk out on stage. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you, no, okay, here's a good question. Do you think that your persona and your comedy hangs on that part of your nature and that if yeah. you fix it you will cease to be you and therefore cease to be funny i've never given that any thought well i'm asking about it is your paranoia your brand well i think i think i put in more full nets than most you know like caveats that this could be crap and all that yeah. kind of it annoys it's boring me as an audience like all right I, mate get over yourself just make me <laughs> laugh yeah. Oh, I hope they're not doing that. That's exactly what I don't are. fucking need to hear. They are doing We can that. see through it, mate. Get over it. Make <laughs> yeah. me laugh. That's, what do you you're on when stage. You see, you're showing off. When Get you out. see comedians that are really kind of confident and not cocky, but like basically just confident, what do you think about I, that? Nothing. I just go, I love that they're making me laugh. Well, right. I watched Joe Lice at the weekend and he was personify that thing where he goes just confident and it, i just went well you're going to be brilliant as i thought yeah i felt safe and relaxed i and- think if you go on and go oh this will be shit you go oh it's a little bit of a turn off oh, right, David, you're enjoying this a little bit too much. no no but it's true though it's <laughs> like it's oh definitely- should i not be liking this oh yeah exactly. i know no i was i was agreeing when i said it i was like it's a, ca- a caveat that i don't like but like also to be fair i am doing new stuff at the moment so yeah like, but you would do it with old because you'd be going oh this is shit i've been doing this ages oh this is shit oh no no not necessarily david don't jump <laughs> in please well, right, right. <laughs> is what I think you, need. you need a director <laughs> you need a director to come and say don't do that cut that don't do that 
God, I love Drop the way that. they're picking the bones out of something you both haven't seen. Like that. <laughs> this needs we're cutting. Only, we're only basing that on what you. <laughs> no, I know, I know. No, I did actually think I do need to. Well, I think. Well, no, what was the thing of director? Because people have them, and I'm like, what do they do? You don't need a director if they're laughing. Trust yourself. Enjoy the moment. <laughs> you I was enjoying that sentence until you said enjoy the moment. And then I recoiled. Embrace the moment, whatever. <laughs> no, not, not, not in the wording that was the issue. <laughs> it's a fucking sentiment that made me feel sick. I mean, I know. I'm the same. I've always self-sabotaged and it's just boring. Yeah, it's no, boring. I know. I agree. I agree. Fucking hell, this got weird, isn't it? Talking about no, not at all. I, I just want to help you with your tour. I think... Once you get to a certain... Isn't there some kind of comfort in being the age that we are and that you can go, I don't need to apologise or question it anymore. You're too, you're past that. You're too old now. What are you going to do if you don't keep doing this anyway? Buy a van, you know, but delivery. When you're younger, you still... But you won't, still, though, you're a show-off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fuck There's you. There's still a bit of you that thinks, do you know what, I might... This might not work out and I'll go and get a job. But you're sort of past that now, aren't you? <laughs> I do feel past that stage, but it wasn't that long ago, I would say, where I was like, hmm, maybe, don't know. I love it. I'm loving the way this podcast has gone. <laughs> you, it. I'm it, over the moon with it, because often <laughs> podcasts can be the same old shit, but this yeah. has gone in a very different direction. It's always, <laughs> there's always a bit of weird therapy. and I, I never. I love, it's not always, sometimes. No, there is a lot. This is, this is exactly the sort <laughs> of thing. The thing is, if you go like. over this, Joe, you'll be touring and loving it, and the audience will be loving it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Let me know when you are touring, because I'm going to come and see you. Oh, uh, okay. How do I feel about that? Well, I should be fine about it. Well, look, like a load of us went to see Joe. If you go, oh, this bit shit, you're a fucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joe, Joe, what did we say? Sorry, Kill. Sorry, Kill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't apologise, Joe. Okay, no, thank you. You passed all that, mate. <laughs> Shouldn't you be comfortable on, at your age? No, yeah, I know, I know. Stop saying what we said on the pod. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, all right. Are you going up to London today? Is that what you're doing? Uh, yes. yes. For an exciting meeting. No, uh, oh. it's a family thing. Oh, okay. Thought yeah. you were going to say like showbiz, showbiz meetings. No, no, no showbiz. No I am. Show. Are you coming nah. up to London? No, no. Are you? No, no. Have you had Brett on this? Have I? Fuck. It's a bloody Why nightmare. Not? Because he's Mister Busy. Isn't I've he? asked him. Do you know, oh, Kerry? You I did this live thing with, with uh, Mark Kermode. Yes. At the BFI. Fabulous. I, yeah, it was amazing. And I went on first. So a room of about 300 people. I went on first. Hey, David Earl. Hey. <laughs> Brett went on last. The whole fucking room went nuts. Because they're Ted Lasso. He's Mr. Hollywood now. Oh, totally, yeah. I mean, They couldn't believe they're in the same room as him. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> What? And you What's were just happening? happy for him and and and, uh, and relaxing. I was sitting there going, "This is mad <laughs> that this has happened over twelve months." It's, I know, it's, 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 it's weird because of what you because you've seen the last eighteen years or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and it his is literally not an overnight, as in how long it takes, but it is a proper like cut from it is there sort to of there. Overnight, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I, it's like mad. not not it's not the first day he did comedy. But when I was filming Brian and Charles, he rang me. We had a big old chat, and he said, oh, I've just done this thing called Ted Lasso. Oh, what's that? He went, yeah. He said, oh, it's not going again. It's not done, done very well. And uh, and then uh, the next two or three months, it was just built, I think. And, and it, re- it, it really was because people, like, started, tw- uh, fame people with big numbers started tw- uh, tweeting about it. Yeah. Like, like Shirley, was it Shirley Bassey or Dion Warwick or someone Dion sent him Warwick. a message? <laughs> Dion Warwick sent him a message, uh, and David like screen grab sent it to me. And there's a there was a good sort of thirty seconds of processing, like Dion Warwick at Brett Goldstein. What? <laughs> what do you mean? It's mad, isn't it? It's, mad, <laughs> it's isn't it? absolutely bonkers. I yeah. watched like with the kids the other morning. I watched him get his Emmy from Lizzo. <laughs> yeah. Like, from Lizzo, the happening? the singer. 
Yeah, <laughs> Lizzo gave him his Emmy. <laughs> yeah, but like Brett was saying, you know, you do these projects, most of them die, no one watches mm. them, and then w- once in a while, once in ten years, one will just go... And Nuts. he's in the middle of it. Yeah, he's in the middle of it. Yeah. And it's a lovely story as well. I like it that he was on it as a writer and then sort of rather, you know, embarrassed and said, I think I could be in it. And then they said, yes. What I can't get over, Kerry, is the angle you're holding the phone looks quite distressing for you, but yes, you're sorry. the one holding it. <laughs> you're sort of doing, you're going... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever change. been so relaxed on a podcast in my I life. But you, but you know, you can change the angle of the, <laughs> you're holding the camera. That's, that's the only way that could have been weirder. I'm going to put you there next to a plant pot. Do you know, Kerry? So yeah. we we recorded. Obviously, you and Mena come on. Oh yeah, half hour ago. But we recorded yes, the build. I, this, this happens to every podcast I do, so don't take it. Personal. Yeah, but we're putting that out. We're oh, putting shit. that one out. So it's just oh. us waiting for 30 minutes. <laughs> I, did one with Rob, I did one with Rob Bryden a couple of weeks ago, and I, did again, you? F- forgot. Literally oh, what's forgot. that one like? Oh, what's yeah, it what's like that doing one? that one? Do you get to see his loft room much? <laughs> yeah, showbiz did... chit-chat. And, um, and when I came on, he was patiently waiting. And How then, long does it take? How long's the recording? Well, if I'd been on time, I'd say about an hour. <laughs> But because I was late, it was shorter. How was he? He was lovely. And he said, did you... Now, Kerry, did you forget? And I, I just fess up and go, I did, yeah, I'm really sorry. He's, am- I, I just, he's you know, amazing. He's, lo- he's lovely and brilliant. And it was a really lovely chat. Was it? I really yeah. like that. It's really nicely produced and edited. Yeah, and- slick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, not, I always was looking not, at his loft though. I want to walk, walk around his house. Kerry, were you were you on your phone like this? Because the contrast of him with his six cameras. And yeah, his, I've never and his, been and very you. good. At, I've <laughs> never you. nailed that zoom backdrop vibe. Do you know with what? I'm going to watch your eye. one now just to see what whether you're just sat on the same sofa. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, no. I'll be upstairs and they'll be washing behind me. There's always. <laughs> I always have laundry behind me. I like to keep it real, David. I had trouble with my wife, my baby girl. Chatting to each other. We're called chatterbacks. Just a couple of guys. I had trouble with my wife, my baby girl. Chatting to each other. I tell you what I love ghosts and things oh, on that. I've been obsessed with it. <laughs> It must be so much fun, oh that job. Oh, my God, yeah. yeah. I find it nerve-wracking. <laughs> no! Yeah, you'd ruin the experience. <laughs> yeah. That's Very great, David. <laughs> Yay, lovely bit of <laughs> business. You'd be so good, guys. You two would be wicked on it. Oh. Good. It's a lovely right. show. Shall we? I'd better go. Um, I... Can you make another film, David, and can I be in it? Yeah. yeah oh, good. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was done, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All jobs yeah, should yeah. be that easy, shouldn't they? Uh, this is the kind of nepotism that I look Well, I always to. sort of keep you in mind. Didn't we? Well, did you come did up for Brian and Charles? For you, years ago, for Combo. Do you remember? With Jane. And then I can't remember what happened. It didn't... Either it didn't happen or you didn't cast me. But... Right. Um, I haven't forgotten it. And I would really appreciate I it. I doubt you'd bring it up, to, though. Yeah, well, we, we, we've unpacked quite a lot of our. <laughs> I love having this power, of course, Kerry. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you. No, no, you have to say, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You have to stick out these careers so that finally your mates can give you jobs. In the end. <laughs> can you do some. I really want the, someone to come to the door as a little end. Just a little I can show you the dog. Do you want to see the dog? Oh! Ah! Scott, is that a Scotty dog? No. Yeah, that's a little Scotty. Oh. There she is. I've got to take her for a walk now. You're is she old? You're walking her on the podcast. Um, oh, she's eight. Bit, she's eight. Oh, sure. She oh. looked older. So. Oh, so I've been she's saying eight. to Naomi, can we get a jo- dog? And she goes. Oh, yeah, I'd recommend it. Especially now, because actually we got them when the kids were the age of your kids. But does it not sort of um, 
stop you from doing things. But you just said you don't like doing things, so you might as well have Yeah, help. what's the point? Well, that's what I said to Naomi. We never go anywhere, so we might as well get one. I hope you didn't she, pitch yeah. it like that, because she might have said, well, let's do something. You stuff. know, what if, what if we go to Mallorca or Malta? We never go to fucking Malta. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you should. <laughs> maybe that was her point. Maybe you weren't reading between the lines, Dave. <laughs> Oh, it's lovely. And we were the same. We kind of, our daughter pestered and pestered. And we were like, no, no, we, you can't have a dog. We live in London, blah, blah, blah. We live right by a massive common. And Ben pointed out we never go anywhere. It was like, we can have a dog. We could definitely have but, a dog. Kerry, when you do go somewhere, what do you do? Uh, I'm lucky because my mum and dad take her. Um, and what are you like with picking up the poo now? That's what I was thinking. Totally fine with it. Actually uh, quite like it. I had a... <laughs> Well, Russell Tovey said, Russell Tovey had the best, best answer about picking up shit. Because he, yeah. do, do, do you know, you know, you know Russell. Yeah, Tovey, I yeah. met that dog. Oh, uh, yes. Um, Rocky. He, I said, he was on pick- the set of him and her when yeah, I came to do <laughs> Yeah, he, he told me off because I walked it too far and then he killed it. Just stopped oh. and lay on the floor. It was weird. <laughs> but uh, he's got the best answer I've ever heard of anyone being asked about picking up shit i said do you what, what's your feeling about picking up your dog shit and he goes it's an absolute honor <laughs> <laughs> he loves his dog that much <laughs> that's that good. is mad i don't oh. feel like that about it yeah we went out walking with our friends a couple of weekends ago and they got a dog and he i watched him do it just it's, chatting away to me. Yes. Yeah, in any way. Works yeah, I struggle with that bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I found out recently why people hang it on trees. Have you heard this? Go on. No. I basically, because I was talking to a friend, I said, why do people hang it on trees? And she said, oh, what, what people do is so they do, sometimes they do a circular walk. So they tie it to a tree and then uh, they, and then they so get, they pick it up on the way back. <laughs> yeah, it's like marking like the, a what? Hansel and Gretel, like no, dropping. Yeah, no, it's not that. It's not that. So their idea was to pick it up on the way back, so they don't have to walk all the way round. They just forget to untie it and take it home. So they, their dog does a shit. They tie it to that a tree. That makes sense. To, yeah, but that that's a mystery solved. There you go. What about your experience mm. of Victoria Station, Joe? Because I always <laughs> have that in my head. <laughs> what oh, happened? Yeah. There was a. <laughs> oh, yeah. I. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always was, have it when I talk about bloke, getting a dog. I there go was a there. bloke running to get his train, and uh, he was going across quite fast. And uh, his dog started shitting, and it did about ten dollops uh, for about sixty, seventy yards. And he and he hadn't noticed. He, he just thought his dog was resisting, sort of walking. And uh, he went, and he eventually missed the train. And he was like, "Oh, fuck, turn around!" And he saw like a line of shit across Victoria Station, <laughs> and he had to go back. Oh my <laughs> but, god! Yeah, it's like halfway across. I also <laughs> saw a friend of mine come in and uh, in Brighton Station, and he had his little dog, and uh, he was. I just saw him running across the. Thing and his dog had locked its legs and was trying to shit, and he was dragging it out of the station what, before. So it smeared it all. <laughs> well, no, his oh, hadn't God. come out, so the dog was going, "I want to shit," and he was like, "You're not shitting in here." <laughs> so it was just sort of pulling the dog really fast, like him on the Oh no, the dog will win. The, like you can't pull a dog that wants to have a shit. Yeah, well, he he did because it's smooth surface; it just skidded. Oh. Oh God! So what, whose responsibility is that? Well, yours. You, your dog. Yeah, but how do you get rid of it? Well, I don't know. What I would just... you do, Carrie? If you, <laughs> you run <walk> away, <laughs> <laughs> just run away. Just basically, go. Oh, look what arsehole did that. What well, is? <laughs> I know. I can point at it. <laughs> That's um, disgusting. Who did that? I really need to go. Sorry, lovelies. Well, it's been an absolute delight. I'm Thanks. sorry I was late, but I'm Oh, late. no, we've got an extra episode out of it. It's a little bit of a double bubble. <laughs> yeah. We love a double bubble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really lovely to see you both. And you, yeah, Kerry. Thanks, thanks for coming on. I'm, I'm really oh, gutted sure. I was um, so do you tense. Wanna, do you want to <laughs> plug any tour dates left? No, I've only got any left. I've only got about oh. three left and they're sold out. Oh! Oh, <laughs> what a lovely oh. feeling! Yeah, lovely, lovely oh, feeling. Lovely talk, I, oh, talk. The only thing I'll plug is Whistable Pearls on in November on Acorn TV. Then, okay, there you go. There we go. There we go.
and watch watch how she acts. <laughs> yeah, don't don't just look, pause don't, it. Don't, pause don't, it. don't follow, follow the story. Face. Wonder that's how she's guy. boat acting and things. <laughs> yeah, she's acting like that in a boat. Yeah, that's how yeah. that's how a human is on a boat. That is it's, the best Doc, it's got Doc Martin vibes. Yeah, it has got Doc yeah. Martin vibes. It's kind of like the way I think of it is Lovejoy. Do you remember Lovejoy? Oh, I used to love Lovejoy. It's Lovejoy. Right, I'm watching scene. it. I'm yeah. in. I mean, it's cozy. Yeah, yeah. It's a cozy it crime cozy. drama. Well, I love yeah. cozy TV. I love an ITV drama and it's more in than Ken, anything. Joe. I know it's got everything. It's you got Kerry, it. it's, it's right in Ken, and it's got Lovejoy vibes. I'm yeah. a thousand percent in. <laughs> yeah. Get Genuinely, it. I'm going to be texting um, you about it. Yeah, yeah, I think you'll like it. Let me know what you think. I will, hundred percent. Thanks, Kerry. Right. Thanks, Kerry. Have a Take lovely care. day. And you. Take care. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.